hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is stella so in today's video we're going to learn how to cut and sew iro and boba so um it's particularly called iro and boba in africa i just don't want to say nigeria alone now let's look at the meaning in english all right so boba simply means the blouse or the top while iro is the wrapper so in english we're going to be making a blouse and a wrapper now here are the fabrics that we're going to be working with now i will be making use of five years of lace for the blouse and the wrapper and i'll be making use of this mercury fabric this is two yards for the inner wear and the video will also be up on the channel all right so i'll keep the fabric for the inner wear aside let's look at the lace now it's advisable you cut your wrapper first before cutting the blouse okay so to determine the length of the wrapper that you need to cut i usually multiply my client's hip round by two okay and in this case i'm working with a hip round of 45 so 45 inches multiplied by two will give us 90. now this 90 inches includes my two inches hemming allowance on each of the sides all right so i have gone ahead to cut out the wrapper and the length here is 90 inches so like i explained earlier i'll be using two inches to hem the sides now this is how i'm going to hem it i'll first fold in half an inch then i'll fold the remaining 1.5 inches and i'll stitch it from the top to the hem of the lace i'll repeat the same thing on the other side as well okay so that means we'll be left with 86 inches and this is perfect for harappa so i will go ahead and hem the sides of the wrapper okay and that will be it now let's look at the edge of the lace so because we're working with the lace fabric you don't need to hem the edge at all except you're working with an ankara fabric so i'll go ahead and hem the sides and we will look at the blouse moving over to the blouse so you need to get the widest part of your body so it's either your bust round or your hip round but for my client her, her hip round is the widest part of her body so and her hip round is 45 inches so i'll go ahead and divide 45 inches by four and that will give me 11.25 inches and i'll be adding 1.5 inches allowance to this now out of this 1.5 inches half an inch there is the ease on the blouse and one inch is the sewing allowance so in total i have 1.5 inches now 11.25 plus 1.5 inches will give me 12.75 inches so i'll go ahead and fold the lace into four and i will measure out 12.75 inches now i will intentionally cut out a bit more so that i can have the room to trim off the edges that are not equal so you remember um our calculation the widest part which is her hip divided by four plus 1.5 inches that is how we came about the 12.75 so i'll go ahead and fold the fabric and here we have it so um i'll take us through the folding process now the first thing is to go ahead and fold your lace into two just like i have done all right and then we're going to fold it again into four so the folding method is strictly is, is the same method of folding as if you want to cut out a 360 degrees flare now i intentionally cut out 14 inches so that i will still have room to trim off the edges that will not be equal okay so this is how to fold you first fold into two then you fold into four now i always advise that you pin down your fabric as you fold so that um the fabric does not shift when you want to cut out okay these are the tiny issues that actually contribute to a an outfit that is not um perfectly fitting okay when you're done so i'll go ahead and fold this way and i'll pin it down then i'll proceed to measure out my 12.75 inches okay like i said earlier it's advisable you pin down at this stage so that you're sure that your fabric is in place that it will not shift at all so that being said i'll go ahead and measure out her hip round divided by four and i'll add 1.5 that will give us a total of 12.75 so i'll measure out 12.75 and i'll cut okay and we'll proceed yeah and here we have it so i know that the the chalk mark is very faint so i'll just proceed to cut it out now i'm cutting 
12.75 inches and I've explained how we got that. So here we have it. Um, we have it cut out. Now let's look at the length of the blouse. So for the length of the blouse, um, the average size woman usually makes use of the length of the lace. Okay. Now what I have here is 27 inches and it's perfect for my client, but it's advisable you take your length, the length of your blouse that you want so that you will know um, whether to cut out an extra lace and add to the length. But in this case, the length on fold is 27 and it is perfect for my clients. Okay. Now let's move over to the neckline. So we're going to be cutting a neck depth of four inches and the neck width will be three and a half inches. So for the standard booba, usually the neckline is not that wide, except if that is the actual style that you're working with. But on average, the neck width and the neck depth are not that wide. Okay. So here I'm making use of neck width of 3.5 and the neck depth of four inches. Now I'll proceed to cut it out on the neckline also note that the neckline of the back and the front is the same thing so i'll go ahead and cut it out and here we have it i have cut it out so we don't need this tiny piece that i just cut out anymore now before you open up you will need to notch the these points okay so i'll go ahead and notch it and you need to be sure that the notch is also reflecting on the inner part okay i'll tell us the reason as we proceed but at this point ensure that you notch that point okay now let's move over to calculate the sleeve since we are done with the neckline so to calculate the sleeve you first need to measure the width of your shoulder and for my clients her shoulder width is 17 and 17 inches divided by 2 will give you 8.5 inches so i'll write that down the second measurement you need is your desired sleeve length. So you measure from your shoulder to your desired sleeve length. And for my client, her own is 16 inches. Now we're adding her desired sleeve length of 16 plus half of her shoulder, which is 8.5. And that will give us 24.5 inches. Now let's go back to um, our measurement. Okay, the round measurement that we, that we worked with. Remember, we used half of her hip and we added half inch is to that okay so half of her hip is 11.25 now by the time you add the half inch is that will give us 11.75 so i will go ahead and subtract 11.75 from 24.5 inches and that will give me 12.75 i'm very sure you know how we got 24.5 inches which is her desired sleeve length plus half of her shoulder okay so whatever you used on your body plus your ease, you subtract it from, from your total sleeve length. So what we have here is 12.75. Now we added one inch as our sewing allowance on the body. We're also going to add one inch to what we have. So that simply gives us 13.75. Now I'll go ahead and fold another lace fabric into four and I will measure out 13.75 inches. So this will be the extra sleeve that we're going to be attaching to this, okay? Now, let's move over to the armhole, okay, or the sleeve opening. Now, to get yours, you're simply going to divide your bust round by six and you'll add your 1.5 inches. And you also add your one inch um, shoulder slope. It's simply the same method as if you're drafting your basic bodice block, okay? So, her bust round is 45 and 45 inches divided by six plus 1.5 plus the one inch shoulder slope will give me a total of 10 inches. Now I'll measure from this top part to 10 inches and I'm going to make a little notch there. Now this will serve as her armhole or as her sleeve opening. Okay. Either of them means the same thing. So like I said, I'm giving it a little notch, um, just about 0 0.25 inch in. Okay. So that the moment I see it, I will know that this is where I'm supposed to start fixing the sleeve from. Now you also need to notch this point as well. Okay. So I'll go ahead and notch it and this is it. So I'll proceed to fold the fabric. Remember, we're cutting out length of 13.75 and this includes the one inch joining allowance. So, and the width, I want the width of the sleeve to be 10 inches and I'll also add my one inch sewing allowance to that. So I'll be cutting 13.75 inches in length. 
by 11 inches in width and this will serve as our sleeve and here we have it so this is the fabric now remember that we're going to be making use of the the edge of the lace so all your cutting should be towards the edge of the lace okay now i have the fabric folded into two first and folded again into four just like we did when we were cutting the main body now i'll go ahead and measure out 13.75 okay in length and the width is 11 inches now i'm measuring from the completely closed side to um towards the open side so i'm measuring out 11 inches which is the sleeve opening okay which is a round sleeve all right and the length is 13.75 so i will go ahead and cut this out and here we have it so we don't need this part anymore the area that you need if you're working with a lace fabric is the the part towards the edge of the lace and here we have it so we'll move over to the joining process we are almost done with this but before then i'll go ahead and open this up so you remember that our notch that we have around the shoulder this is the time for us to make use of it now this notch will guide you um when you're trying to fold the fabric into two this time around okay it will help you to align the blouse well all right so i'll go ahead and just align them so that i'm sure that the blouse is properly arranged now i will come in with our sleeve okay and we'll begin our sewing process so here is the sleeve now there are two methods of joining the sleeve the first method is for you to go ahead and open up the blouse okay and you will join the sleeve you will align your notches that you have there and then you will stitch it in an l form all right so i'll take that again you will first turn the fabric towards the wrong side then you will come in with one of the sleeves all right so um just give me a minute because i have pins on it you guys know i like to pin a lot so i'll go ahead and take off my pins and We'll proceed with the joining process so i was telling us that we have two different methods of joining the sleeve to the body of the blouse the first method is for you to open up your sleeve this way remember we have a notch there on the center part so you align the notch on the sleeve with the notch on the blouse okay and you will go ahead and stitch it in an l form now this is one method so just watch me align the notches okay so you align them and you go ahead and stitch it down so this is one method now another method is for you to go ahead and stitch on your one inch sewing allowance that we left on the body so you stitch it down from our 10 inches sleeve opening down here now from the hem i will go up by five inches because um the hem of the blouse is going to have a little bit of slit okay so i'll go up from the hem by five inches now i will start stitching from our sleeve opening of 10 inches i'll stitch it with a normal tight stitch all the way to my five inches mark and from there i will use a loose stitch all the way to the hem and like i always say it's not compulsory that you use a loose stitch to finish up um your slit okay you can go ahead and stop at that five inches mark and then you hem the rest but i like to use a loose stitch afterwards i'll press it open so that i will see the crease line okay now i will also go ahead and stitch down on my one inch sewing allowance on the sleeve all right so i'll stitch down on the sleeve and i'll stitch on the body now this is the second method and i'll be making use of this second method okay and i'll tell us the reason why so i have showed us the two methods of joining your sleeve to the body the first method is for you to align the sleeve to to the body and then you stitch it in an l form the second method is for you to go and join the body separate join the sleeve separate and bring the two of them together okay so i'll go ahead and make use of the second method and here we have it so i have stitched this down remember i started stitching from our sleeve opening of 10 inches and from there i stitched all the way down to our five inches mark which is where our slit will start from then i use the loose stitch on it so you can see our armhole is there okay i've stitched the rest of them now i have also stitched down on our one inch sewing allowance on the sleeve as well 
okay so it's time for us to join them together now i'll go ahead and turn both the body and the sleeve okay so i'll turn the two of them towards the right side now i'll come in with the sleeve so at this point you will need to align your joining lines so i'll go ahead and match the joining part on the sleeve to the joining part on the blouse okay then i'll pull it towards the wrong side this way and i'll go ahead and stitch you remember we left one inch as our sewing allowance so i'm going to go ahead and stitch around the sleeve using that same one inch that we left now in doing this you need to start sewing exactly where your where your side seam allowance stopped okay so i'll go ahead and stitch this round and i'll use my bias tape to finish the neckline now let's look at the wrapper so i have hemmed the sides of the wrapper um using my two inches allowance okay so this is it and i top stitched it most important is that i pressed it flat okay so you cannot overemphasize the importance of pressing down your stitches as you sew so this is it for the wrapper we will still come to the belt later now let's look at the blouse so here it is i have joined the sleeve to the body okay now why i made use of this second method is that you will not need to notch around that armhole area you can see how flat this is laying and i did not notch any part so if you made use of the first method which is um joining the sleeve to the body first and then joining everything together in an l shape you must notch under your armhole so as to free that area and the moment you do that you have condemned that sewing allowance in future if the person needs to open up the blouse the person can't because you have notched the sewing allowance okay but this second method you will still make use of it anytime in the future now i still have my loose stitch on my five inches um slit that we have on the hemline of the blouse so i'll go ahead and take it off and i'll hem the sides properly okay then i will use the bias tape to finish up the neckline now let's look at the wrapper so i went ahead to cut out this belt okay so i cut two and the length of the belt is 26 inches all right so i cut the two of them now the widest part of the belt is measuring five inches and the smallest part which is where we'll be attaching to the wrapper is measuring 2.25 inches in width all right now we're going to be attaching this to the edge of the wrapper now i'll go ahead come in with the belt and i also tucked in the rough edges of the belt okay now i'll come in with the belt and i'm going to place it inside the wrapper by inside i mean towards the wrong side of the wrapper and i will just stitch it round now you need to make sure that you're using a matching color thread so that it will not be visible on the right side so i'll go ahead and repeat the same thing on the sec on the other side of the wrapper as well i will place the belt on the inside and i will just stitch it round and here we have it i have stitched down the belt to the wrapper okay so and I will not forget to mention that i pressed it down all right so this is it this is the right side it's almost invisible until you turn to the wrong side of the wrapper before you see the stitch lines i did the same thing on the other side as well now when she's done tying the wrapper she will just um tie the belt and it will it will step up the wrapper okay it won't just be the regular wrapper look now here's the blouse as well i have used um a matching color bias tape to finish up the neckline okay now i gave it a good press because i i wanted to see the crease line around the shoulder this is also very important now the highlight of the blouse for me is the way the sleeve and the armhole area is relaxing okay i have also hemmed the size um of our slit so this is it you remember this blouse the neckline for both the front and the back is the same now i'll go ahead and wear it on the mannequin and here we have it so we are done with this remember the video for the inner wear will be up on the channel it's also super detailed it's something you need to look forward to okay so this is it you can see how relaxed the neckline is the sleeve everything is perfect okay thank you guys for watching i appreciate you so much kindly subscribe to the channel 
if you have not and give this video a thumbs up okay it will go a long way to make other people to see it as well thank you thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye yeah